Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Say, what were middle-aged people known as in the Middle Ages? Middle-aged people. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at War Chest Siege from AEG. War Chest Siege from AEG for two to four players is an expansion to the popular chess variant. I reviewed this game several years ago and I loved the base game. Let's see what happens with the expansion. War Chest Siege adds new uh, units and new fortifications. These fortifications are various kind of towers, castles that you add to the game by consulting a card at the beginning. You actually tells you what spaces you're going to place these castles on. You go ahead and place them there, which boosts the defensive power of any unit in there, and there also may be some other fun and kooky things that happen. Players can go ahead and take over neutral uh, fortifications by putting a unit on there, but then of course they, they claim it. They place their token beneath it to show that they own that particular fortification. If a player approaches a fortification that they don't own, they must attack it. Now if a player attacks an enemy fortification on its own, the fortification is simply removed from the game. However, if an enemy unit is in a fortification, then the attacking unit cannot attack that unit. They must first attack the fortification. This game comes with four new units. You have the Sapper, the Siege Tower, the War Wagon, and the Trebuchet, or as I like to call it, the Trebuchet. That's right, I'm not French. They each have five coins, except for the War Wagon, which only has four coins, and they all come with Siege Tactics, which can be used during the game. Now, the War Wagon can actually swap spaces with friendly units. It can just simply trade spaces with them. The Siege Tower is notable because it can attack twice. The Sapper is interesting because he can actually move and then attack a fortification. And the trebuchet can attack two or three spaces away, provided it's in a straight line, and it can actually attack over other units. Using these new units and siege towers, players will attempt to place all of their control markers on the board and win War Chest. So War Chest is a fantastic game. It's a great bag-building um, chess variant that I really have enjoyed, and I think it really shines with four players. Um, two's okay, but four is the sweet spot in my opinion really some fun stuff uh, that came out of that game, fun experiences I've had playing this game. So I haven't played the other expansion, I think it's called Nobility, and uh, AEG sent me this expansion out of the blue, so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, I'll try it. Well, I'll be blunt, there's not a ton of new stuff here. Now, the fortification stuff is interesting, and it, it gives you some, some fun new puzzles to solve with how you're going to move on a turn to try to, to get a certain unit if it's, if it's in one of those fortifications, and that's very interesting. Uh, but fundamentally, uh, the game the, the game becomes a, kind of, uh, in a sense, about these strong points. And so it kind of does add a little sense of, okay, there's, there's some, now we're not just positioning to kill each other. We have to position ourselves with knowing where these fortifications are and what they're going to do on the board. And that is interesting, and I like that. The new units are fun. Um, they are, you know, they just add a little more things you can do to the game, which I really like. But fundamentally, I don't know that, that Siege alters the game so much that I would say it is necessary. Now, if you really like War Chest, as I do, you may want to pick this one up. But you don't need it. This is not, as I say, a necessary expansion. It's, it's a fun one, but I, I don't know that it, that it enhances the game that much that you're really missing out if you don't have it. So recommendation for the Discriminating Gamer for the War Chest Siege expansion is try it before you buy it. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on BoardGameGeek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We'd ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. I'd ask you, ladies and gentlemen, if you like military history, please check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about those topics and books on military history as well. And I'd also ask you, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please give us a thumb on BoardGameGeek. That helps us out a lot as well. You know, the other night, a buddy of mine and I, we got into an argument about uh, what you should call a medieval warrior. It got kind of late, so we just called it a night. Pizza!
And now, a mummy dancing. 